Evening all, welcome back to Speed Lunky. Um, I'm playing this because obviously it's just a really good, relaxing game, and I'm I'd like to maybe I should do a chill out sessions <laughs> suggestion of games. I don't know. Anyway, we did the tutorial, so now we actually get to play the game. So I'm now playing as a little dude in the hat, and um, yeah, it's a fun game. I must admit, I I I filmed this footage, and then I realised three hours have passed. So yeah go figure um great game loving it and i think again let's not too too let's not talk too much about the game let's talk about maybe the let's you the use of games this is something that i've always been quite um interested in i think it's because you know gaming is not um like other hobbies uh let me let me quantify that gaming is something that you generally become into intermingled with as a culture so it's a bit like manga in Japan, it's that kind of thing where, you know, and again, you're probably talking, well, you're probably thinking to yourself, what are you talking about, you twat? Um, yeah, fair point. It, I, I think gaming to me has always been something that I have um, used to kind of, I don't know, pass time, enjoy, you know, something. And I, I, I like that kind of, you know, feeling of, of, a, of a new game. Do you know what I mean? It's like, to me, it's almost like watching a film. And a film to me is a fun thing. I do enjoy watching films, obviously, as we all do. But what I, what I maybe miss with the film is that it's not interactive. And I think you watch a film and you think to yourself, that was entertaining. I have, be, I have been entertained by said film. But you, what maybe you don't get is um, that feeling of control. So, you know, I've, I, I've played some uh, things of Dust and Eve that have been like stories and films themselves. So it's been something that's made me think, gosh, that's incredible, as I blow myself up with a, a oh, yeah, this game, it gets to you seriously, but it's good. Um, but gaming to me is something that I think really kind of opens up your mind in much more of a kind of open way. I, hopefully people get that. I mean, I know a lot of people don't, but to a lot of people, gaming is just something to do to get away from the wife or the girlfriend, or it's something to do to kind of pass the time or it's something to do to kind of you know show you're better than someone um there's nothing wrong with that as well i think you know sometimes you know gaming can be used as a way to kind of moderate um achievement there's, you know again i don't i don't recommend it but if you do that then fair play to you um so in general i think gaming to me has always been something i i do to relax okay and i think it's a funny thing because games like this they take your mind off stuff and it's not like I have these horrible, hideous things in my life that are so traumatic and terrible for me to deal with. I don't. I'm, I'm a very privileged middle class dude, I guess. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't have any tragedy in my life at all. In fact, none. Literally none. Um, it's quite sad in a way because, you know, I can't blame anyone for the way I've turned out. But there we go. <laughs> um, I just think generally, the you know, gaming is something that is, um, you know, is there to, I think, open and, and moderate your mind somewhat. And I think certainly it does it better than TV and film. And yeah, it's such a shame. And it's such a kind of um, poked at genre. I mean, people still, oh, well, wow, you're a gamer. You're a nerd then, are you? It's like, no, actually, I think, you know, what uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 made more movie than most films make in, you know, ever. And yet people will still dismiss the the cultural relevances of Grand Theft Auto 5. And I watched a brilliant program. There was a program in the UK called The Culture Show, which is um, about as uh, it's about as fun to watch as maybe watching an, uh, a lobotomy. And you basically need to have one to enjoy that program anyway. It's not a particularly interesting one, but they had um, a guy who I'm not going to mention because, you know, copyright and all that, but they had a famous film critic play the Wii and they actually made him play the Wii. They actually said, right, this is how it works. This is the nunchuck and this is how you play the games and the da 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 da. And the, next to him was Jermaine Greer, <laughs> who I will name because obviously she's, you know, she's a, a culturally significant person and she just couldn't stand the fact that we made her play, you know, that they made her play the Nintendo Wii. And it was fascinating because the issue they had was not that they were not entertained because they were obviously smiling and laughing as they did it. The fact was is that they saw it as beneath them. And that I think is the interesting part of this. Gaming is uh, is an emerging culture and I think as the old bastards piss off and die, I'm saying that in a very nice way, obviously I do, you know, I, I do mean that as it sounds, 
um, the, the you know, our generation comes through and we then obviously we've grown up with gaming gaming and computers have always been part of our lives so therefore you know to us it's nothing unusual and then that is when gaming is going to become much more of a significant and respected cultural medium and I think when you look at things like Minecraft and you know Met Metal Gear Solid and Call of Duty and all of these kind of very big name games that have changed gaming I think somewhat in what they do um, I think people are realizing that actually you can't be snobbish about this subgenre anymore post in the comments tell me what you think I, I personally really do I'm not ashamed to be a gamer I think um, you know at work I tell people I do it um, they think it's odd because I have, you know, a particularly kind of high level job. So that for them, it's kind of like saying, oh, yes, I like to bugger chickens on my weekends. What do you do? Oh, you play sports. Nice. And I think some people really do not like, they don't like it at all. And you could just tell they don't. They really don't like it. Um, but they, what could you do? You know, I think everybody is different. Everybody's going to have different um, things that they enjoy and things that they get motivated by. And I think for me, um, it's gaming is something there. So, uh, returning to the game, as you see here, we have. Um, I didn't realize this poor damsel is actually dead. So, I'm dragging around a corpse right now. That's nice, isn't it? I honestly didn't know. Um, so, we're actually going to try and get a corpse to the. Uh, <laughs> as I drop her, as bits of her fall off, and I'm wondering, is she still alive? <laughs> oh, this game is so cool. Um, I think, yeah, again, to maybe summarize and conclude the game, it is an incredibly good. As I blow her up, my God, what is wrong with me? Jesus. Um, this game is an incredibly good uh, game. It's a real kind of, um, you know, out of nowhere kind of game. There's nothing really quite like it out there at the moment. It obviously pays respect to a lot of subgenres, but I think this is not a bad game in, in, in its slightest. And I think you'll find that this could well be one of those games that you just play and you enjoy in your spare time and um, you know you, you basically get the most from it so here we go another bit of the mechanics there's obviously night time so you have to carry a torch around that's pretty sweet isn't it I like that um, and many other things there's just such it's such a good game I, I cannot sell it any further and I'm not going to so I think there you go this is spelunky um, it's not replacing any game in our playlist I think a lot of people have got a little bit upset that I'm not doing Project Zomboid or Starbound anymore don't worry I'm still doing them X front uh, X rebirth I'm already I'm still playing that as well um, the only problem is it's an absolute massive bag of arse at the moment so I'm just waiting for something new to come in to show you so hopefully that's okay well, there we go hope you enjoyed that that was spelunky a game well worth six dollars or four pounds of your hard-earned money hope you enjoyed that see you next time